Hi everybody. Okay, this is going to be another fun, fast little project. I usually make these at the end of the summertime because they're just so super cute and fast to make and great for gifts. Okay, so we're going to be making a magnetic, beautified, primified, beautiful board and this is what you're going to need ladies. This is why I do it at the end of summertime. These garden signs, no kidding, you can find these like at Michael's, Joann's, Hobby Lobby, wherever, Home Depot. They have these garden signs, right? And they're like 80, 90% off because they're trying to get rid of them. Buy them. It doesn't matter if you find them broken or whatever. Look at this one has the thing hanging off. 80, 90% off. We don't care what it looks like on here because we're going to cover it with a beautiful paper and we're going to make our own little magnets for it and give it away as a gift. Wouldn't you guys like to get one of these? Okay. So really quickly, I just pulled three sheets of paper. I'm not sure which print I'm going to use yet. Some wooden tickets and buttons, some embellishments. Look at some just fun little uh, embellishments that I'm going to layer and create and make little magnets out of them. And it's going to be really super cute. So ladies, go first go find yourself some boards and then follow along. Play, do this. You're going to love it. It's really super simple. Okay, so you're not going to need a whole lot of stuff. I already took off the metal hanger here, and I'm just going to punch these holes later um, to be my hanging for my board. And look at, you can do the front and the back, so it can flip. It doesn't matter. It's up to you, ladies, when you're creating. Do what looks good to you. Enjoy the process and just have fun. Okay, so you're going to grab your three sheets of paper, some of the stuff that I've already talked about. Don't forget those wooden wood embellishment the buttons those are fun and you know prima flowers whatever you have some leftover um you know ribbons and fibers whatever you're gonna need your fabric tack your beacon stuff this is amazing for your making your embellishments we're gonna actually make we're gonna distress some of these flowers and beautify them i should say primify them Okay, so you've gotten back from the store and you found your 90% off sales and you found your board, right? So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to cover that board and I'm going to show you um, the prints that I selected and how I choose the print. Can you guys see that? It's beautiful, right? I have three prints here, but I'm going to show you why I'm choosing this print right here because when I make the magnets with all these beautiful flowers and embellishments and when I layer them, they're going to pop off the page when I have a nice simple pattern like that. If I have a pattern like this, well, wait a minute, stop, stop, I have to show you. Gorgeous, right? I know this is the Romance Novel Collection. Marion Smith did an amazing collection for us. Thank you, Marion. I love, love, love it. One of my favorites from this winter's uh, summer CHA. This one's called Love Story. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, so this is the back of it. This is the sheet that I'm actually going to use. But I want to show you why I'm not using this side, even though it's gorgeous. When I put stuff down on it, you don't see it. It blends right in. So I'm looking for some contrast for my magnets that I'm going to be using. So right here, look at this. When I put things down on it, you can see it, they pop. So my little magnetic board, I'll be able to pull these off. And, and I'm also looking for images that are laying on the print that I can use to enhance. Isn't that pretty if I just add that to the corner here or you know, a, a ticket magnet here. Just, it's just super cute, right? Yay, I know you're excited with me. Here's the other print that I was thinking about doing, but I'm, I love, love, love this one. This is also Marion's, and this one's called The Emotion Romance Novel. Isn't that gorgeous? Stunning, I know. This would be really pretty, but it might be a little bit too busy. I'm not sure. It, you know, ladies, do what you like. I always say that. Um, isn't that beautiful? This would work too. Oh my goodness. See, this is the hardest part choosing um this one right here i pulled it but it looks more like a chalkboard it these will pop but you know i don't know i really like this one better okay so here we go this is really easy grab your gesso or whatever or not it's up to you if you want a really nice finish on it i would put you know cover it we're gonna go ahead and cut this print out right here 
and I'm going to eyeball it, not this print, this print, and I'm going to eyeball it, ladies. I don't measure, so we're just going to do this really quickly. I'm going to cut right up to that line right there and mark it, and this right here, I think I'm going to leave a little bit of a border because I like the color, the edge of this board. And right here, I'm going to cut there. And I'm going to go ahead and cut that, and then I'll show you it on there, and then we're going to create our embellishments. Okay, so that's it. Look it. I put the print down. I cut that beautiful paper. Oh, yes, just cut it. And I inked the edges, and I put it down, and I, you know, I didn't measure exact, but it came out okay, and isn't that pretty? So now we're going to go ahead and punch the holes, and I'm just going to go ahead and flip it around and use the same holes that were used for that metal hanger and but I'm going to bring the eyelets down just a bit so I'm going to go ahead and do that really easy ladies get your crocodile out you know how to use it right and bam see no worries just do it there we go now we have our holes for our eyelets and we're going to go ahead and put those in. Super cute, right? I'm not being fussy about it. Just do it, ladies. There we go. Now I'm going to create our embellishments. This is the funnest part, making our little magnets. And look at all these good things. I'm not going to use everything here, but I'm going to use them to um, create some really pretty magnets and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do but I'm gonna lay it all out I'm gonna look at it and play and I'm gonna do a lot of layering and start creating some magnets okay everybody so now we're gonna make our fun little um, magnets and let me just say go run get into your stash any leftover you know remnants that you have from past projects pull them out make some fun little embellishments if you don't have the magnets yet um, you can get them later but go ahead and make your embellishments and we'll add these last we add these at the very end anyways your magnets to your um, embellishments for your boards and why because these take time to dry once you add your glue down this I'm using the beacon Fabri-Tac this is amazing it works but it wait till the very end after you make your embellishments then add your magnet because it's, I'm telling you from lessons learned, it's so tempting once you put your magnet here and then you go, oh, let me see, and you put it down and you want to move it and pick it up and it hasn't finished drying, the magnet will stay there and oh my goodness, you're starting, you know, you're going to have a mess because you're having to re-apply re, um, your magnet to your embellishment. Anyways, okay, so I'm going to let you go get your goodies and then come back and get your glue and let's play. Alrighty ladies, so here's some of the embellishments that I made, the magnets, and they turned out really super cute. I just got some beautiful flowers and some metal trinkets and just played. I just laid them down and just had fun with it. See, just really simple. There's a wooden ticket there with a charm and some flowers and bling, and then I just added the magnet to the back, and look at how simple that is. But they turned out really cute. Look. Isn't that fun? You guys can do this. They're so pretty when you put them down. And then you just place them wherever you want on the board. And look, at you can make really simple ones too. Just get a, the wooden embellishments. Put some bling in the center and a flower and the magnet on the back. There you go, ladies. You can do it. And here's some pretty butterflies and some of the new bling, the new, what are these called? The trinkets, the drops, they're so pretty, I'm not in frame. Okay, so isn't that easy, ladies? So then you just grab your photos or your business cards, whatever you want, and just go ahead and start using your magnets and, and have fun. They're just so pretty. You know, you can rotate your photos. Do you? do whatever but isn't that beautiful make a super cute little gift for one of your friends she would love this I know I would love getting one of these